So you have to keep that in mind. Again, the difference between human and identity and what it is that you're fighting or standing for. Now for us, again, to bring it back to why it's important to separate the human from identity is because it creates a shift in how you view people. No matter what it is for any of us that we identify with for our full identity, it's important to make sure that we don't use or try to impose our identity onto other people or try to invalidate their identity using our identity because when it all comes down to the basic element of it, we're all human anyway. And then I wanted to give the rest of the time for any questions or notes that you wanted to make. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. That was good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, yeah, these are just... I know Danae asked me about the books. These are books that, that are in the library that basically just talk about and further substantiate some of the stuff that I was talking about. Um, uh, Charlotte Patterson is a famous professor from the University of Virginia, and R. Lawrence Moore is a famous professor at Cornell University. And Selling God is basically talking about um, sort of what I talked about earlier, using your identity to invalidate other people, how people have utilized the element of Christianity and different methods to invalidate uh, individuals in terms of their gender rights, in terms of their sexuality rights, in terms of their cultural rights. People used, people, for example, slavery, um, American slavery, I want to make sure that I clarify, American slavery, um, how they justified slavery in the legal context was that they said religiously, through religion, that African Americans were not human. So they completely made us separate from anything that was in this bubble, which is how they justified it. Of course, years later, we had the, the famous uh, litigation that overturned that. But that's basically saying how people will use their identity to invalidate others and how we have to make sure that we try our best to not do that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So did any of you want to maybe share? That's all you for everything very much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. Okay. Well, I don't know what time it is. I don't know if I... It's 36. Oh, wow. We have, we have plenty of time, so... I don't know if they've given y'all a break or if y'all been doing it, like, back to back to back. If y'all been doing it back to back to back, then... No, just take a break. Like me. What's her name? Oh, yeah, Rebecca. Like Brittany. Brittany. Oh, Brittany, Brittany, sorry. We have to meet Brittany. Oh, yeah, isn't it three? Yeah, I think we're schooling about this. Yeah. Stuff, though, we break it down. Because, like you said yeah. earlier, if you're not socially or like everybody else, people yeah. in the world, even like in college, try to like, you know, separate and put everybody in these little boxes and yeah. bubbles. Like, so. I think it is nice to like learn and you know get the breakdown of like everything. Yeah. This was interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, How do you all? Oh, I'm sorry. What's the other thing that goes with race? It's another word that people get confused with. What ethnicity? ethnicity. Yeah, what is the difference? Okay, so race, race. So ethnicity talks about your ethnic background. Where ethnic? Just think when I think ethnic, think earth. Think where on the earth you originated from. So your ethnic roots. Let's use okay, let's me. use me as an example. <laughs> let's not use anybody else. So my mother comes from Native American backgrounds, and my father is Jamaican, but his family was originally from Africa. So I'm African American and Native American by ethnicity. Race, if you've ever seen race on Race is nothing but a social classification. Race is, if you've ever seen it on like one of those standardized tests, they say white, black, uh, Hispanic. So that's, that's sort of the difference. Your social classification versus where, where on earth you originated from. That's also why, sort of to further explain it, it's called when you, when you were born of one 
race, but you identify as another race, why it's called transracialism and not trans ethnicity. Because you can't be trans ethnic. You come from, that is one thing, unfortunately, that is solid. You come from where you come from. But you can choose to identify with whatever culture and race that you want to. So there is a difference there. Mm -hmm. So like when people say, like when you ask somebody if they're white, like you ask somebody their race or like like what they are or whatever, and they'll just be like, oh, I'm white. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be like, no, but like what are you? Yeah, so that'll be your ethnic background. So, so like for, ethnic would be like them going deeper and saying like, oh, I'm Irish. Yes, I'm Irish. And I'm rather Serbian. Than saying white I'm as their race. Russian. Yes. Um, like where where on earth are you from? Mm -hmm. Just think of that when you think of ethnicity. Oh, there is, I meant to come back. I'm sorry, I, why? I didn't forget you. You had a question on like the, the sexuality aspect of things. I think it was elaborate. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Does everybody understand like the spectrum? Mm -hmm. Like how people, how people can choose to, the difference between maybe what you perceive as being versus what people identify as. Mm -hmm. Okay. You should teach this to more people so they can become informed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good. Yeah, it's a lot of interrupt people here. Yeah. I don't know about that much. And they'll take everything as a joke, so. Yeah. And it, it'd be funny because a lot of people identify as African Americans. They don't even know, like, what the ethnicity is. Like, yeah. Stuff like that. They just know? be like, I'm black. Yeah. yeah they'll, I like, mean, they don't really know where they're from. And that, that's hard because, okay, so I lived in France too. Um, in America, it's, it's real, when you think about the history behind things, it's really hard because in America, most African Americans, we only came from one way, and that was on ships here for slavery. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have a few in the early 1900s that immigrated here from England or from parts of Africa mm -hmm. here, and they're called African. We, within the African American community, we even separate them. They're Africans. And we're African American, so there's even a separation there. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, we didn't come over with papers. Mm -hmm. That for the most part, everybody. So that means that you guys are immigrants. Yes. Okay. We, but for the for the most part, with the exception of Native Americans, every person in America is an immigrant. Mm -hmm. Another thing is the racial construct of what it is to be Latino is not, Latinos are not their own ethnicity. They are a race of Native Americans that were invaded by the Spanish, which is why the predominant amount of people from Latin America speak Spanish. They're Native Americans. If you put a Native American and you put a person from South or Central America together, you'll notice they have similar facial features. Mm -hmm. There's a reason for that. They're all American, Native American. Like, I feel like, I don't know about like other countries and stuff, but in South Africa there's black people, white people, Indian people, and colored people mm -hmm. who, they're not mixed race, but they're their own race, they're colored. Mm -hmm. And it, like they're mixed race, like probably like generations back, you know, yeah. like black and white, but they're their own race as their color. Like they're, I don't think other countries like, call, but like someone like why, mm -hmm. like for us should be like mixed race because okay. she does have black in her and white in her, and nobody's forcing her to like choose one. Okay. Yeah, because you got both. Yeah. Like, but nobody in my family is white. That's the thing right there. It's like about what he was saying that pigment in my family. Like my sister is darker than me, and it's just because my dad is darker than my mom. So yeah, it's got a little lighter. Like she got more pigment than I did. You mm -hmm. know what I'm trying to say? First time my brother's the same people. way. Yeah. So it's not like it's not because it's, it's not like I'm mixed with like white and black. It's just I'm Colombian and black, which is that's it. It's the same thing because I am from one different country that that's my ethnicity and I'm not mixed with white and black just a little lighter than my sister but I'm still she still got 
black in her too. Mm -hmm. Like my older sister too, so. My brother's the same way. My brother is a, is a shade lighter than you and a shade, like about a shade or two darker than you. And people, it's funny, people always approach me, even when I came to Penn actually, when I brought him to Penn, people were like, are y'all really brothers? <laughs> and I mean, it's like when, when people ask that, you, you, you can understand kind of how, how it's kind of, even though I shouldn't take it offensively, but it can be kind of harmful. Yeah. I yeah. know we are brothers. We, there, without getting too graphic and detailed, there are pictures that we came out of the same person. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So we're related, but people, for whatever reason, might not on the outside see us as. Really smart. That's but that's because people so don't know how to dig deep. deep. They just yeah. Like, everybody yeah. sees no, stuff for Hispanic. Because I am Hispanic. Yeah. 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 So that's why. But I am black Hispanic. Yeah. That's the thing. There's no such thing. You <laughs> dig deep. Like, it's like, like yeah. Uh huh. Just like those black girls that went viral because they had green. Well, the twins. One was white. Well, her pigmentation was white, mm -hmm. but the other sister was. I don't Darker, yeah. uh -huh. but they were twins. Yeah, but the one, the parents, one is white and one is black. Mm -hmm. So it was like they went viral for that. It's crazy. That's a good note, though, between what you said and what Tiamo said. As I, I have a question because we kind of do use that term here in America, what? but that also has like a blurry line. What do you consider as people of color? Because it's kind of expanded. Normally, people of color was traditionally reserved for. African American, but we don't say individuals. people of color. They're oh no, that's the, yeah, colored people. So we we use like people, the term, very similar term, like people of color here. But that term is kind of expanded to include everybody, individuals and in, from Hispanic backgrounds, individuals from Indian backgrounds, anybody with any color in their skin. Like, what do you all consider as people of color? Anybody who's not white. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just like yeah, Dominicans. Like, yeah. You uh -huh. see a lot of Dominicans. Most of them are darker, but they still got, like you say, in every Hispanic country, they'll have light skins, white, like all kind of mm -hmm. like shades. But yeah. Like, I'm not kids. disagreeing with why. Like, that is how it is, like, in the Spanish country, but I'm not disagreeing. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not saying you shouldn't call yourself black, because obviously in Colombia, you're black and there's white people. And you'll be surprised that there's people of the shade of your color and be like, they're, they're Colombian or they're Hispanic. Like, right. Don't say they're white. No, I'm just saying you'll be surprised because I have people ask me before, like, oh, he's going, like, I have friends that they're black. Their skin color yeah, you told is, me was even Indian yeah, so then I have people ask me before, and it's like, wow, that's crazy, like, you know, it, it's people that actually don't know stuff like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just think it's different, like, in each color, different countries, it's different. Mm -hmm. I do, you, I know, because, I don't know, but... My best friend from Serbia, she told me that they don't have black, black people. people. And I was so, mm -hmm. I was really surprised. It's like, it got to be a black person in everywhere. And then I was like, wow, that's crazy. No, I know she told me that there wasn't, like, people of color in Serbia. No, no, I will give you for so, one example. My, my aunt, she married for the black guy from mm -hmm. St. Lucia, and he came in Serbia. I mean, that's a sad story, but no one wanted to sit next to him in a bus. Mm -hmm. They looked at him weird. And mm -hmm. Like, we don't have black people at all, so mm -hmm. if you would see one person, like, you would be, wow. Mm -hmm. And they would look at you, like, they are surprised. Wait, 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 I'm glad you mentioned that. Okay, because you and, okay, so this goes back to the human and identity aspect also, especially with, okay, so, so, uh, oh, sorry, it's all good. It's all good. So, okay, so Maria comes from a country called Serbia, which, which is called a heterogeneous genus country. That means, for the most part, Every single person shares very similar identical factors. Exactly. We don't have a gay person, so huh? we don't have a gay person either. That's for, yeah, so that's forbidden. That's, and that's exactly, that, like I said, that's another reason. For the most part, the country, now Serbia is small, yeah. but it's, it's still a country nonetheless, with quite a substantial population. Um, but for the most part, well, like said, for the guys, probably they vote for drills not, but they kill them. They would kill them. Guys, yeah. I know. Guys, yeah, they killed us several. Yeah, my friend is from Morocco. No, I know Morocco is different from Serbia, but my friend is from Morocco, and it's it's for Ben Yeah, it's punishable by death. By death? Yeah. yeah. No, in Serbia, it's not punishable. It's just the people, like society, they will not accept you. And if you would see you on the street, like two guys, they would probably beat mm -hmm. you and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But see, that's worth that's worth noting because there in Serbia there are a it's it's literally an entire country of people with almost the exact same identity. I mean, same racial black background, same cultural background, same dictated or whatever sexuality backgrounds. I mean, genders are probably clearly defined there. Um, I'm sure you have the same one religion. Yeah, same one religion. If anything, maybe maybe a, another second one that's that's a very small percentage, but everything for the most part is similar. So there's no exposure to anything else in the country. So it, it takes time, and it took time in America like for that to happen. It's, it took the slow process of immigration of people coming from all different types of backgrounds and places and mindsets for it to even become, become the, what it is. to become what it is now. Like, and the lady, the, the, one of the librarians actually asked for for a copy of the footage because she she's older. She was telling me how she is from Philly, and even 50 years ago, like it was much different than it was. I gave her a little preview of my of what I was demonstrating. She said it was much different than it, than it was now. So we have to remember that even here in America, like we're not too far from it either. We've we've changed substantially, but we've come forward too, and it'll take time. Once Serbia 